So I'm reading <coughs> in Hebrews um, 4 about um, the Sabbath. And this isn't necessarily about a message of the Sabbath, but this is more so a message about um, what are we doing here as, as Christians and what are we doing as people um, that hear the Word of God. Um, Hebrews 4, 2 says, For we've also had the gospel preached to us just as they did. Now, they did talking about um, the people of Israel in their exile and um, Moses leading them. It says, For we have also heard the gospel preached to us just as they did, but the message they heard was of no value to them because those who heard it did not combine it with faith. Now, we who have believed enter the rest just as God has said. So, what this message, what this verse is implying is that um, knowledge without faith is, is of no value. You see, we can, we can memorize an entire, and I'm not saying I'm against scripture memorization because I think it's a great tool, but we could memorize every single word of the Bible just for the sake of memorizing it, but not for the sake of doing any good, but just so we can, so we can show off. We can do all of these things, but without faith, without having that dying faith, then it's of no value. Faith is different than knowledge in the sense, to me, that you can't teach faith. You can teach about faith, but you can't teach someone to have faith. That's, that's something that the Holy Spirit does, I think, and that's something that is driven completely by God. But you can teach knowledge, and I think both of them are good. But the Bible tells us to, to be careful. Um, it says, be careful that we don't stray from the message. It says, be careful that we hear it and not harden our hearts. And, and right here, it, it warns us. It gives us a warning that says, but the message they heard was of no value to them because those who heard it did not combine it with faith. So we're warned not to drift away and we're warned to keep our faith because we can get so wrapped up in the knowledge and we can become overly political and overly just crazy in every sense, and we can completely miss the mark of what God has intended with His Word. You see, the Gospel is the complete recollection of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. It is also a guide that can help us in our daily living, but more than that, it is, it is, the, um, it is the complete, complete knowledge, centr central, the central knowledge base for everything that we believe and everything we know as Christians. So if we read that just for the sake of knowledge, of course we'll remember facts and we'll remember things. And we'll, and, you know, sure we can give good advice and, and all these things. But if we do it without faith, we can know that it's not completely with, with the help of the Holy Spirit. It's more so with us helping ourselves, which is selfish and arrogant. Um, but rather, since God is the creator of all things and you know, without him, we wouldn't be given this life. I think that, I think that we do need to have faith, um, when we read the scriptures and we need to, we need to humble ourselves and know that it's because of him that we have this, because of him, we have everything. So we need to have faith so that we can grow in our faith. Um, uh, we need to have faith so we can grow in our faith. I, I know that that sounds, um, kind of weird, but we need to have that driving faith that, humbles us and lets us not get wrapped up in the knowledge but so we hear this and we and we grow and we progress the way God intended to and you can't do that when you're so wrapped up in knowledge and nothing else um, you're just you're just wrapped up in that but rather our faith our love of faith should drive our knowledge not our knowledge should drive our faith um, anyways that is Hebrews 4 2 and 3.